Hello, welcome back to another video. So today we're on the beach. Show them the sea, please. Thanks. Um, so, a couple of weeks ago, and by a couple of weeks ago, I mean about four weeks ago. You need to lift it up a bit further down. No, down. There you go. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, I put a thing out saying, ask me questions, because I want to do a summer Q&A, because we did a spring Q&A, now it's summer, so we're going to do a summer Q&A, then we'll do a winter Q&A. Anyway, shall we get on with some questions? Well, we um, walk back to the chalet. Right, so, lift it up again. So basically, um, I've got quite a few questions actually here, and um, I'll start them now. Um, so, first question. Have you ever dropped your phone out of the window while filming? I presume that you mean like on a heritage train where you win a hang. In which case, no, not yet. Push one or whatever you do. Not yet. And I don't really, and I really don't hope to drop anything out the window. But I use my tripod, so there's a, I don't, not yet, and hopefully never. Next question, what got you into trains? That's an interesting question. Do you reckon it's like when, you know when we used to go shopping at Foster Square train, uh, mm. Foster Square? Because do you remember I want, I want, I always wanted to stop, you know, where the hamstress is? Mm. And then we'd sometimes walk around to the, do you reckon it's that? Mm -hmm. It's a good question, I don't really know. I, I really don't know. Um, but it could be something like that. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Just quick off it. Um, I hope you can hear me, by the way. Um, next, what is the best station to visit on the Keithley Worth Valley Railway? Right, well, it's, it depends what you're after. If you're after, like, if you want to go to a station that's quite famous, go to Oakworth, the railway children's film there, whatever. Um, I, I mean, let me go through them. So Keefley is Keefley, obviously. I, I like I like the Keefley and Worth Valley Railway side of things. But as a whole, I'm not too big of a fan of the station. Um Ingro West, I mean it's nice enough. But um It's where you've got the two museums in there. It's where you've got the two museums, correct. But I don't think you'd really go there unless you had a reason to go there. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's lovely at Ingro, but I just don't think it's a station that you'd really go to unless there was a reason. Like when I, um, like the reason for me going is because I went in the cab of the Flying Scotsman and then a couple of weeks later I, um, no, I rode it. Um, there's Ingro, uh, no, there's, what's next, there's Demens. I mean, Demens actually is quite cool. I've not had a bit, I got out there myself, but I think it's like one of the smallest narrow gauge, no, so it's one of the smallest certain type of stations in Europe or something. But, I mean, it's quite cool, um, and it looks nice, and I do want to get out there at some point and do a video. Then you've got Oakworth, again I've just said. Haworth, I love Haworth. I think Haworth is my favourite, but that's my opinion, and it might not be your favourite, it's, you know. And then Oxenhope. Oxenhope's got a cafe bar, quite like that, and also you get to get right, and also when you get off, if you wait for the loco to go, you can go and steal front get to the front of fun because then you get everyone else gets to stand behind you while you're in the way. Um, I don't know if you can hear me properly because of the wind. Um, next, do you think train spotting will be a thing of uh, of the future? I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, I don't really think there's any reason for it not to be. It's quite cool, isn't it? But if for some reason it wasn't a thing of the future, then you'd just be getting seaside videos, um, like one I'll be uploading in 
not this Sunday, the Sunday after. You'd just be getting loads of seaside videos and stuff. But obviously train spotting is a thing right now, so you also get train spotting content. Um, what is your favourite northern train class? 170, 150, 158 or CAF 195331? Um, one eight, uh, 158 obviously. Um, if I had to rank them, it would be 158, 195 slash 331, 170 and 150. Speaking of 170, if you've, um, we got a, one, a class 170 from Hull to Ridlington. Um, which LNER train is better? Uh, class 91 and 82 or the Azuma? I mean, is, is that a question that needs to be asked? It's not really, is it? Um, class 91, class 82, which we are reference, that's the older ones that we got to Edinburgh. And you said you liked them, didn't you? Um, Favourite trainer, why? Again, 158. How are you? Um, I'm on the beach. So I'm good. Um, what was the weather like? What was? How was the weather for you today? If you'd have asked me yesterday, then the answer would be sitting it down with rain all day because it did indeed sit down with rain all day, didn't it? But today, as you can see, by the camera up to the sky, it's, it's been lovely today. Um, <laughs> how much rain does Bradford get on average a year? A lot, a lo like a lot of rain, a lot. Don't ask me for measurements, I don't know, I have not, I don't do that sort of thing, but just know it, it's a lot. Would you bring back uh, weather videos? Maybe on my extra channel, if I actually can be honest with that, because at the moment, because at the moment it's just really random stuff like the length of the videos and stuff but if I can actually be bothered at some point then probably yes but not on the main channel because it doesn't really go with anything else uh, do you follow aviation I mean I do like going to Leeds Bradford Airport I do like Leeds Bradford Airport um, I don't, don't ask me any plane models because I don't have a clue. So I suppose I don't follow aviation as such. I mean, yeah, I don't follow it, follow it like I do train spotting or anything like that. Because it's just not, you know, it's not really my thing, you know what I mean? But, um, I do look at some planes sometimes and sometimes I think they're cool. But um, to answer your question, no, I don't really follow aviation that much. Um, right, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this camera and then I will pick this Q&A back up um, when we get back to our chalet where we're staying, which again you'll see in the next video. So, um, just give me one second to get back, which will be like five, ten minutes for you. Um, and then I'll pick it back up. And we'll answer some more of your questions. So um see you then. Okay, we're back at the shower now, as you can see. Um let's get back to the questions. Um so can you do a series where you visit the UK's trams, Blackpool, Nottingham, Birmingham, etc.? So do you know what? I've I've been thinking about this for a while. Um, I think it is something that I'd um, be interested in doing um, potentially in the future. So, never say never. Maybe at some point. Although we will definitely be doing a, a video on the Blackpool trams with Pierce at some point. Um, right, uh, what trips do you have planned for autumn and winter? Do you know what? I've got one, plan uh, I've got one trip planned, uh, which is to... Which is a little family um, weekend away at the Lakeside Lodges in York um, in October. <coughs> <coughs> That's what I've got planned. Other than that, 
nothing. Um, what's the best thing you have recorded in your video? Hmm. It depends what we're talking about. If we're talking about the trains, then definitely. Oh, then. Hmm. I'm not sure actually. I'll have to. I'll have to have a think about that. Would you do a train spotting video on the London Underground? Um, probably not. Um, because I've, I've seen someone else say there's just the variety is just like it's not there, is it? So it's not. There's not really much point. What's the longest train you've been on? I presume that I presume you mean what's the um. What's the longest train you've been on? I presume you mean... I presume you mean the um, longest journey on a train, in which case that would be Penzance to London Paddington, which I've done twice. Um, if, you could get, if you could get rid of one train operator, which one would it be and why? Hmm, if I could get rid of one train operator, which one would it be and why? Which train operator would I get rid of? Hmm. Hmm. I think I would get rid of... I don't know. It's it's a difficult one because there's a couple in mind, but then I don't think they're really bad enough to get rid of. Other than Avanti West Coast, you need to get rid of Avanti West Coast. There's your answer. Um, now that you've done the Night Riviera, could you do the Caledonian Sleep Train? I'm thinking about it next. I'm I'm thinking about doing that next year, but nothing's been confirmed yet. So who knows? Maybe. At some point, hopefully. What's your favourite destination to spot at? My, my favourite place for train spotting is York Station. Cause I just, I just like the station. It's nice. Um, could you go to places with funny names? Um, I could. I could go to Fanny. I could go to Fanny Street in Saltaire. Would that be good enough for you? I could do that. YouTube shock. <laughs> um, what's your favourite train? Already answered that one. Would you do a video at Edinburgh Waverley? Seriously, I need to get back to Edinburgh Waverley and actually do Edinburgh Waverley some justice because the video I did when I was there in February 2020 when I did them horrific commentary videos and just did not do it. Just, it was the in fact it was one of the worst videos I've ever made. I've got to be honest. So. Yes, at some point I get to Edinburgh Waverley. Um, can you do more train spotting videos? Of course. I think what you're trying to say is I'm not. Is you want more train spotting videos, and I'm not giving you more train spotting videos. Trust me, I'm not doing it on purpose. I just haven't been it. I've just had more of a chance to film these type of videos that I'm filming than the train spotting videos. But at some point I'm gonna get out. And film a collection of train spotting videos and then upload them. How long till your big video is released? Well, at the moment it's the twenty fourth of June, uh, July when I'm filming this, so that's just under a month. Um, but this is coming out tomorrow, so the twenty fifth. So again, literally just under a month. Um, favorite and least favorite video from twenty twenty three so far. My favourite at the moment is the, um, let me just get it up on my phone, my favourite one, my favourite from 2023 so far is Edge of Buckwood, that one, and my least favourite this year is the A Walk Along Penzance's Mount uh, Bay Path, that's my least favourite, so um. 
There you go, that's my uh, favourite and least favourite station, um, well, videos of 2023. Uh, right, where were we? Okay, there we go. Right, I've got four more questions left. So, what will the big video be about? I mean, can't tell you that, can I? But, I will tell you in an upcoming video. Are you doing any more beach vids? I'm not doing, well, while I'm here, I'm filming some videos, well, I'm filming a video which includes things on a beach, but I'm not specifically filming a beach video this year, but I probably will at some point. Um, can you do another canal video? <laughs> Definitely at some point, uh, when Ella's leg is better, because basically what she's done because she just gets way too excited and stuff. She then basically hurt a leg. So the, so the leg which has the hip that she brought back in. I don't know if I told you this. But basically back in 2019. Uh, she, bro uh, she broke. Uh, what, did she break it? Basically a hip. Um, so she had to have an operation. And basically she has just completely. Just completely messed it up. So when her leg gets better then yeah we will do. And when will you go back to York Station? Hopefully. Hopefully at some point this year. I'm hoping. Definitely yeah, it will definitely be at some point this year. Um yeah, that's the questions. Um thanks for watching. I hope I answered your questions. If you have any more questions that you didn't manage to get in time, pop them down below and I will answer them. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.